Holmes Finch, Professor of Educational Psychology, is Ball State University's Outstanding Researcher for 2012. Since joining the faculty in 2003, his commitment to his students and his peers is evident across the university. His research is recognized nationally and internationally and has shaped the way other researchers evaluate various statistical solutions. With 71 published peer-reviewed articles and two books under contract, in nominating Professor Finch, fellow faculty member Sharon Paulson said, This award is not about quantity. It is about the quality of his scholarship and its contributions to the field, which are equally astonishing. A lot of my research involves computer simulations. So basically I program computers and they test out statistical methods and, um, uh, and then I sort of collect the results and, and analyze those. So in that sense I have a lot of control over my own research unlike someone who has to go out and collect um, data from you know, people. I've always uh, tried to have sort of a balanced approach to life and so in that sense I, I feel like when I come to work I'm rested and ready to roll and um, I, I live sort of a, I guess a regimented, <laughs> sort of a rigid kind of life. So I'm very scheduled. I have certain times when I like to show up to work and certain times when I leave and the same thing with sort of my hobbies and things mm -hmm. to relax. So, so anyway, I think all of that together, there's just a certain synergy, um, you know, that, that has allowed me to be successful. And I, and I think true to, too, Ball State is a, is a very supportive environment. And um, I had heard that before I came, and, and sure enough, it's been, you know, very much that way. So I think support from the college and from the department, particularly um, colleagues. So, you know, there's a lot of time to do research and, and that sort of thing. One of the things that I tell students, because um, I, I work almost exclusively with grad students and primarily with doctoral students, and many of them are planning to go into academia. And so one of the things that I tell them is being a professor is very much like being a grad student. It just continues on the same positive and negative sides of being a student. So um, you get to work and in inter doing interesting things, hopefully something that you really love. But there's also the negatives of constantly being evaluated. And I don't think, I don't think people outside of academia have a sensitivity for that, that um, everything you do is evaluated, whether it's your teaching by students, um, whether it's, it's your service and research by your, your peers in the department. Every time you send an article off uh, to be reviewed for a journal, it, you're being evaluated. And, and more often than not, the evaluations aren't positive. Even for people that are successful, most of the time the evaluations are um, you know, they have a negative component. I mean, the best thing you can hope for, is, and what I tell students is, get a, a revise and resubmit, which means, you know, we don't really like the paper the way it is now, but, you know, if you do all these changes, maybe we will. And that's just like what you deal with as a student, right? So you're, you know, your professor says, oh, well, you did this really well, but you really need to improve on this. And so, um, so there's, there's, I wouldn't say pressure. I mean, I don't think it's really pressure, but there's just always that sense of being evaluated. And, uh, and so being able to turn that off and go off and do something completely different that has nothing at all to do with my job or my career, um, you know, swimming, for example. Devoting time to learning how to swim and working out with the swimming group, the master swimming group here at Ball State, and really thinking about that, you know, even just for the hour a day I do it at noon has freed my, you know, free, sort of frees my brain up from thinking about, oh, I got to get this paper done. And I wonder, you know, how am I going to make these revisions in this time period and stuff like that. And, um, and then when I go back in the afternoon or go back the next day, it just doesn't seem as insurmountable because I, because, you know, I realize, well, hey, this is just one part of life. This is a hobby. This is something fun to do. But, uh, but it's not the end all be all. And I think when people when people view their work as the end-all be-all, and that's the only thing they've got, then um, you know, I think, I think it, it, it results in a, a sense that every negative piece of feedback you get is just magnified. And I think a lot, of, a lot of any success that I've had has, be, has been because at Ball State I've been allowed to sort of grow in my own direction and do my own thing while still being a part of the department. Uh, and, and that's not true at other institutions. I mean, that's a, so yeah, it's been a great place to work.